hello guys welcome to developer tips youtube channel you can learn more front-end tips back-end tips and tutorial from this channel okay this is what we are going to create today before going for coding i will briefly explain you why i have created this youtube channel the developer tips youtube channel has been created for people who have enthusiasm to learn web development mobile development and web technologies for their development career in this channel, I will cover HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, working with the jQuery plugins, responsive web designing, front-end framework like React.js, Vue.js, and so on. I will teach you working with the CMS platform such as Joomla, WordPress, and also I will cover server-side languages, CoPHP, PHP framework like Laravel, CodeIgniter, CakePHP, and I will do Python, Python Framework, Flask, Django. You can learn cross-platform mobile application development with Flutter and React Native from this channel. Okay, let's stop our discussion and let's dive into the uh, presentations. Okay. Okay, let's first understand what is gradient color because we are going to use this gradient color for our button style. What is gradient? The gradient color is start with one color and gradually transit into the another color. You cannot see any separate line in this box. The blue color changes to light blue color gradually. It's very nice if you use in your website. That means in your back website background, button, navigation menu. Okay, let's next slide. Then let's understand create the gradient color in CSS3. Then uh, you can use background image property and linear gradient function. That linear gradient function has a two parameters. One is directions and color. You can have multiple colors and you have multiple choices for direction to top, to bottom, to left, to right okay there are three types of gradient functions one is a linear gradient functions this is how it is and radial gradient functions and chronic gradient function okay i will do a separate video for the gradient color in css3 okay now let's code okay I have created an empty index.html file and also I use VS code it is one of the best code editor which has many plugins auto completions live server and also shortcut keys then I will enter exclamation key and it will give me a minimal markup here and I will change the title into fancy button and I save it and I will hit the go live the live server yeah fancy button then I will add button element button and the text here send your file and save it you can see in my you can see my button here and i have already shown you this is what we are going to create and i use font awesome icon then you should go font awesome website and type your email address here and you will be sent a kit code that, that means a script code and I will use this nice paper plane icon then I have already taken the script tag from the font awesome website and I will copy it and I will paste it in the head tag and I save it now I will, I will add my icon and for for 
paper clean paper clean now I save it you can see it now now we let's move into the style tag it in head tag okay let's style it okay I use CSS internal file let's just grab the OD element to position our button in the middle of the document display flex I use CSS flex to do that justify content center margin top Three hundred pixel. Now that is it for body. Now let's select the button. Okay, let's style it. Okay, add the properties and value for button. And first change the padding here. can see 10 pixel for top and bottom 60 pixel for right and left and color here let's change the font size And now let's use the background image property and linear gradient function. Now let's select the direction. And I have already selected two colors. Those two colors are similar. Okay, I will copy it. Paste it here. And I will select second color. Okay, you can position it if you want by using percentage. Yes. Now let's remove the border here. Okay, border radius. Four pixel. It will give a round shape of your button. Now text transform uppercase. Nice. Now let's select the eye element icon in margin right 10 pixel. Yes, you can see it now. Okay, that is it. Okay, let's expand this. You can see nice fancy gradient button here and do remember to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video otherwise you will miss my new videos I have list of things to do in future thank you